Friday is Children in Need Day and throughout the week we're looking at some of the amazing things happening here in the South. Yeah, of course, it's all made possible because of your generosity. In Dorset, the charity Helpful Hounds provides training sessions for children with assistance dogs. You know Pudsey's right behind you there. Yeah, yes, what you know a guy. That. Can't get closer now. <laughs> the dogs can help with practical tasks as well as being a best friend and companion. Simon Marks can tell us more. <laughs> Carmella lives in Wiltshire. She has muscular dystrophy, which restricts her movement. But fortunately, she has a friend to help. Get it! Good girl! Open! When I was young, without Tinker, I felt moody, sad, alone, and I just generally didn't feel very good. But we're thinking now, she makes me feel happy, excited, and definitely makes me laugh. When I'm at hospitals and feeling nervous, she sits in my lap and it basically keeps me calm. Carmela's nine. Um, we've been told when she reaches teenage years, she will get weaker. We know what teenagers are like. They don't want their mum to get involved with too many things. So um, having Tinker, being able to do certain things for Carmela will be a huge, huge help for me so I don't get my head bitten off. <laughs> Sometimes I can't take my jacket off because my elbow is getting the way. But she can help me pull it off. Top. Good girl. And with my socks, because I can't bend down to reach them, she can just take them off for me. You just get it. And when I'm sad and low, we can just have a good snuggle together, can't we? A good snuggle and a stroke. Yes. She doesn't always want to share things with her mummy and daddy. Um, and you know it's yourself. You know, pets, if you're, if you're a pet owner, they're, they're endless and unconditional love. <coughs> it takes her mind off her condition. <coughs> Tinker was trained by a Dorset-based charity called Helpful Hands. OK, throw a treat out for her. Izzy has a complex diagnosis of conditions which include autism and ADHD. She's been out of education for 18 months. Jessie is her assistant's dog. Let's walk. Good girl, well done. See, like there's a noise, she'll help me and she'll make me feel calmer and I'll hold her lead and we'll go to parks and she'll run around with me, have a really fun time. She's a focus point for Izzy, um, so once Izzy's out and about and things become overwhelming, Jessie's there for her, which helps her be able to reduce her anxiety. Very important. My best best friend. Yeah. Look at that. Good girl, rest. Mm -hmm. Having a dog is, is rewarding within itself, but to have a dog that can be your best mate and your play friend and then help you outside in social circumstances is everything. Bring her round. The relationship and the bond between the person that we're working with and the dog has to be really quite solid. We want to make sure that the dogs are able to keep the children that we work with feeling happy, content and grounded. Let's go a little bit faster. The money that Helpful Hands receives from children in need enables them to run these training sessions. Well done. It's hard work and children in need in particular has been fundamental to our help over the years. So, you know, keep supporting, it really helps us. Izzy does have trouble bonding with people and with Vicky, they've just got each other very, very quickly. So she's been absolutely fantastic. Helpful hands have been there all the way. Again. Money donated to children in need is making this happen helping young people to lead better lives, side by side with four-legged friends like Tinker. <laughs> 